We've all heard the sales pitch, a future powered by flawless artificial intelligence where brilliant machines make smarter, faster and better decisions than us mere mortals. But what happens when that brilliant code goes completely off the rails? What happens when the algorithms we trust with our entertainment, our jobs and even our lives make a massive mistake? Welcome back to Mentor's Mindset. Well, today we're looking at five times AI failed in the most spectacular ways you can imagine. We're going to see everything from a smart camera that fell in love with a bald head to a chatbot that tried to argue with its own company in court. And we'll build to a chilling story of an AI that helped send an innocent man to jail. Trust me, you won't believe what number one is. This is the story of five AI blunders that prove our machine-perfected future is still a long, long way off. Kicking things off at number five is one of the funniest AI fiascos in recent memory. Back in 2020, the Scottish football club Inverness Caledonian Thistle thought they were being clever by replacing their human camera operators with a fancy new AI system. The plan was simple. The AI would use ball tracking tech to follow the action so fans at home wouldn't miss a thing. This system, from a company called Pixelo, had one simple job. Find the round white thing on the big green field and keep it in the shot. Easy, right? What could possibly go wrong? Well, as it turns out, the AI did find a round white object it really, really liked. But it wasn't the football, it was the linesman's bald head. For a huge chunk of the game, the AI camera was absolutely obsessed. Instead of tracking incredible passes or shots on goal, the broadcast just kept snapping back to the referee's shiny scalp as he jogged along the sidelines. The commentator had to keep apologizing as the camera deserted the actual game to zoom in, yet again on this poor guy's head. Fans were furious, especially when they missed their team scoring a goal because the AI was having a moment. The whole thing became a legendary internet meme, a perfect lesson in an AI taking its instructions just a little too literally. The company later tried to explain it away, but the damage was done. When you tell a machine to follow the ball, you better be sure there's nothing more interesting for it to look at. All right, number four on our list takes a much more serious turn. We're leaving the football field and heading into the corporate world where a botched algorithm doesn't just ruin the game, it can ruin someone's career. This is the story of how an AI built to make hiring fairer allegedly learned how to discriminate. The company is Workday, a huge name in HR software used by businesses all over the planet. They offer an AI screening tool that's supposed to make hiring easier by scanning resumes and picking out the top candidates. In theory, it gets rid of human bias and gives everyone a fair chance. But in 2023, a lawsuit dropped with some pretty shocking claims. A man named Derek Mobley, who is over 40, African-American and has a disability, alleged that he'd been rejected from more than 80 jobs that all used Workday's AI tool. He argued that the AI was systematically screening out applicants because of their race, age and disability. The lawsuit, which is now moving forward as a nationwide class action case for age discrimination, suggests the AI may have learned these biases all by itself. So how does that even happen? It's a classic case of garbage in, garbage out. If you train an AI on decades of a company's hiring data, and that company has mostly hired a certain type of person, the AI just learns that pattern. It concludes, ah, this is what a good candidate looks like, and starts favoring certain names, schools, or even hobbies. Amazon actually had to scrap a similar AI recruiter when they realized it was penalizing resumes that included the word women's, like captain of the women's chess club, because it had been trained on 10 years of resumes from a male-dominated industry. The Workday case is still making its way through the courts, but it's a terrifying reminder that these tools built to fix our biases can sometimes just put them on autopilot. We're going from funny to frightening pretty fast, and these stories just go to show how much AI is already changing our world. If you're finding this as wild as I do, hit that subscribe button. We tell stories like this every week, and you won't want to miss what's coming up. Now back to the blunders. Coming in at number three, we have a story that is the perfect mix of corporate facepalm and AI chaos. In 2022, a man named Jake Moffat needed to book a flight after his grandmother passed away. 
He went to Air Canada's website and asked their customer service chatbot about bereavement fares, those special discounts for people traveling for a funeral. The AI chatbot answered with total confidence, telling him he could book a flight at the full price and then apply for a partial refund within 90 days. Trusting the official chatbot on the airline's official website, Mr. Moffat did exactly that, spending over $1,600 on tickets, but when he applied for the refund, the human staff at Air Canada said no, the real policy was that you couldn't apply the discount after the fact. When Mr. Moffat pointed out that their own chatbot said he could, Air Canada made an argument so wild it belongs in a museum. They claimed in court that the chatbot was a separate legal entity that is responsible for its own actions and that the airline wasn't on the hook for its misleading words. Let that sink in. They basically argued that their AI had gone rogue and it wasn't their problem. The judge, to put it lightly, was not impressed. In the ruling, he stated the obvious, Air Canada is responsible for all the information on its website. It makes no difference whether the information comes from a static page or a chatbot. Air Canada was ordered to pay up. It was a huge moment proving that you can't just let an AI loose on your customers and then claim you're not responsible when it starts making things up. This brings us to number two, and the tone here shifts completely. This isn't about a funny glitch or a lawsuit over a plane ticket. This is about a mistake with the ultimate cost. In March of 2018, a self-driving car operated by Uber struck and unalived a pedestrian in Tempe, Arizona. It was the first time a pedestrian had been unalived by a fully autonomous vehicle, and it sent a chill through the entire industry. The victim was 49-year-old Elaine Hertzberg. She was walking her bike across the street at night when the Uber, a Volvo SUV in self-driving mode, hit her at about 40 miles per hour. What happened was a complete and catastrophic failure of both technology and human oversight. Investigations later showed the AI's terrifying confusion in the seconds before the crash. The software saw Ms. Hertzberg but just couldn't figure out what she was. It cycled through possibilities, unknown object, vehicle, bicycle, without ever concluding she was a person crossing the street. And here's the critical flaw. The system wasn't designed to slam on the brakes while it was still confused. By the time it finally identified her, it was far too late. To make a horrific situation even worse, the human safety driver, who was supposed to be a fail-safe, was reportedly streaming a TV show on her phone and wasn't watching the road. She was later charged with negligent homicide. Uber immediately shut down all of its self-driving tests and the crash forced a global conversation about AI safety. It was a brutal lesson that when you deploy AI in a defining situation, there is zero room for error. And on that night in Arizona, the system failed in every way that mattered. And now, our number one biggest AI mistake. This is a story that combines flawed tech, human error, and a justice system that put way too much faith in an algorithm, all of which cost an innocent man a year of his life. This is the case of Michael Williams and the gunshot detection system ShotSpotter. ShotSpotter is an AI system used in cities across America. It uses a network of microphones to listen for loud bangs. And then an AI decides what the sounds was. If it thinks it was a loud bang, it sends an alert with a location to the police, hopefully helping them respond faster. In May of 2020, 65-year-old Michael Williams was driving in Chicago when someone in another car pulled up and aiming at his passenger, unaliving him. In a horrifying twist, the police didn't look for the culprit. They arrested Williams for the fatal incident and the main piece of evidence against him, a shot spotter alert. But that evidence was a total mess. During pre-trial hearings, it was revealed that the shot spotter AI had initially flagged the sound as a firecracker. It was only changed to after a human analyst at the company went in and manually relabeled it. On top of that, the location data was allegedly tweaked to better fit the police's theory of the crime. Based almost entirely on this one shaky piece of AI-generated evidence, Michael Williams was charged with first degree. He spent nearly a year in jail, where he caught COVID twice and was completely traumatized. Eventually, prosecutors had to admit the shot spotter evidence wouldn't hold up in court, and the charges were dropped. Williams was freed, but only after losing 11 months of his life because of a flawed algorithm and the humans who chose to trust it blindly. His case is a terrifying warning about what happens when we let automated systems make decisions that can ruin lives. So, 
What have we learned from all this? From a camera that loved a bald head to a sensor that helped put an innocent man behind bars, these stories all point to one critical truth. AI isn't magic. It's not perfect. It's a tool. And a tool is only as good as the data you train it on and the people who use it. The old saying, garbage in, garbage out, has never been more true. Biased data creates a biased AI. Bad programming leads to ridiculous mistakes, and a lack of human oversight can turn a small glitch into an absolute disaster. These aren't just strange one-off stories, they're warnings as AI gets woven deeper into our lives. From how we get hired to how we're policed, we have to be aware of its limits. So what do you think? What's the biggest risk with AI, or did I miss a huge AI blunder that should have made the list? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I promise I read them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the tech that's shaping our world. I'll see you in the next one.